Mr. Lepofsky, the floor is yours. Your five minutes. Thank you. The core question before you is whether to pass amendments that I think all agrees would improve this bill. We say please do, and even more so, please, senators, move the amendments so they can be debated and voted on at this table. We have heard suggestions to trust the government. We say trust but verify our amendments would. I will use my time to explain why you should amend. Ask me questions, I'll explain how to do it. First, we know the minister is open to amendments. She said she was open to them as long as they are consistent with this as framework legislation. Our amendments are consistent with this as framework legislation. Next, the Senate would be very reluctant to controvert or overturn a government policy. We're not asking you to do that. We're asking you to make that policy work. Making your life easier if you look back at what you've heard over these hearings, the content of the amendments we're seeking are not the subject of any dispute. No one is before you saying, oh, please make people with disabilities prove their disability a second time. If they've qualified for provincial benefits, make them go to a doctor again. No one's saying that. Everyone's saying the opposite. Our amendments would achieve objectives that I believe everybody agrees on, or policy uh, uh, goals, or no one has disputed. In fact, if what we are seeking had been amended, in, included in the bill from day one, or added in the House, I don't think one single de uh, presenter to you would have said, please take it out. So you don't have to worry about, gee, are you wading into a policy debate? The only issue you're worried about is people, some who have said, please, if you amend it, that could slow or hurt the benefit. We say our amendments will speed up and strengthen the benefit. Some of those who have said, please don't do it, please don't amend, have suggested that this can be addressed in the regulations. You have heard from qualified lawyers, backed by, in some cases, the trial lawyers associations from across the country. You can't fix all these problems by regulation. And those that might be addressed in regulations don't provide guarantees because they're only as trustworthy as the lifespan of the government that enacts them. So the question, leave it to the regulations, is equivalent to saying, uh, believing what is in fact a legal misconception. And when you, the next reason I want to suggest to you is that the, the overwhelming feedback you've gotten from lawyers, whether it's all those trial lawyers associations regarding insurance clawbacks, or it's the submissions of the income security advocacy uh, co uh, center backed by 48 legal clinics. These are people with hands-on experience seeking redress for people with disabilities. And they say, we need these amendments. And the only lawyer who's come before you expressing a view, uh, don't make amendments, didn't contradict any of their opinions, prove them wrong, or assert a single argument proving them wrong. So the last thing I want to say, because I know my time is tight, is you want to trust? I say trust that if you make the limited, high impact, low, least intrusive amendments we're proposing, my prediction is people are going to say thank you. How do I know that? First, four years ago, some of us came before you, this very committee, and said, please make amendments to the 
Accessible Canada Act. Now, the government got a number of groups, like this time around, to come and say, please, don't amend it at all. We're afraid we're going to lose the bill. Just pass it as is. Now, this committee wisely heard their concerns, made amendments. Not only did those get passed by the House, but the groups who came here to say, don't amend it, turned around and asked the House of Commons to ratify those amendments. And not only that, but the minister who previously had opposed those amendments came to you a month ago and said you did a fabulous job making those amendments. Everybody said thank you. They're going to do it again. In the House, last thing I want to say, my time's almost up, in the House of Commons at the HUMA Committee, some of those same groups went to the HUMA Committee and said, don't make any amendments. And a number of us pressed forward and said, please do. And guess what? HUMA made those amendments, some of them, not enough, nowhere near enough. But those same groups that told the House, don't make any amendments, have come to you and have said, those amendments that were made in HUMA, they're good. In fact, the government even said that. Now, Lepofsky. I'm not saying they're disingenuous. I'm saying, trust me, we'll thank you if you do it again. Thank you, Mr. Thank Lepofsky. You.